Mr. Ahmad works at a WDA-approved training organization, or ATO, now that WDA is moving from hard copy certificates to electronic certificates, or e-certs, the workflow process for ATOs like Mr. Ahmad will also change. ATOs now have to upload trainees' assessment results onto the Skills Connect website, and their e-certs will typically be generated in two days. Let's find out how ATOs like Mr. Ahmad can upload their trainees' results. Open your browser and go to the Skills Connect website. For Singapore citizens and permanent residents, your SingPass ID is your NRIC number or CPFB unique account number. For employment and work permit holders, your SingPass ID will be your foreign identification number, FIN. If you have more than one Skills Connect profile, choose WSQ Approved Training Organization and Accredited Courses. After you log in to WSQ Profile, click Assessment Result, then click Upload Assessment Result. At this point, the system will offer you two ways of uploading your trainees' results to generate e-certs. One where you download an Excel file and fill in trainees' results offline, and another where you upload trainees' results straight onto the website. Let's click Download Assessment Result File Template first. Download the template onto your computer and open it with Microsoft Excel. An alert regarding macros will pop up. Click Enable this content and click OK. Once the Excel file is open, you can fill in the trainees' details in the top row. For ID type, nationality and race, use the drop-down list to select the correct options. Under nationality, non-Singapore citizen is now replaced by Singapore PR. For the date of birth column, do note that the correct format is day-day, month-month, year-year, year-year. For the column titled race, the more commonly selected races are placed at the top of the drop-down list. ATOs are encouraged to fill in both the trainee's latest mobile number and email address. However, if this information is not available, at least one field must be filled in. This will allow WDA to notify them when their e-certs are ready. Do note that if you need help for any segment, you can hover over the cells to find additional information. For medium of assessment, choose the language the assessment was conducted in. For course start date, do note again that the correct format is day-day, month-month, year-year, year-year. As for the submission type, choose New Record for a new entry or Update if your editing information that is not reflected on the e-cert, such as trainees' demographic information. To edit information that will be shown on the e-cert, such as trainees' name, ID number, course reference number, Competency Standard Code, Date of Assessment, Cert Code or Assessment Result Status, please choose Void and upload a new entry as new record. Fill in Date of Assessment as Day-Day, Month-Month, Year-Year, Year-Year. When you're done with the trainee's details, enter the Trainer ID and Assessor ID. If you're adding more than one assessor, Use a semicolon to separate their assessor ID numbers. Do note that the course start date and trainer ID sections will be non-mandatory if the course only has an assessment component. After completing the Excel spreadsheet, click the Generate CSV File button. Save the file to your computer as a CSV file type. Now let's upload your trainees' results onto the Skills Connect website. Click Upload Assessment Result. Click Browse and choose the CSV file that you have just created and click Submit. Please take note of the Assessment Result Upload Reference Number for future tracking purposes. Now let's try the second method of uploading your trainees' results. Click the course record and then Add Assessment Result. Fill in the assessment delivery information to ensure that you receive email notification upon e-cert generation. After that, fill in the required fields for trainees, which are marked with an asterisk. 
Do remember that it is necessary to fill in at least their mobile number or email address so that WDA can notify them when their e-certs are ready. Under Submission Type, click New Record if the entry is new. Choose Update if you are amending information that is not reflected on the e-cert, such as contact information. In the case of amending information that will be reflected on the e-cert, such as the trainee's name, ID number, course reference number, competency standard code, date of assessment, cert code or assessment result status, please choose Void and upload a new entry as new record. Fill in the trainer ID and assessor IDs. Do note that if there is more than one assessor, separate their ID numbers with a semicolon. At the end, click Add Trainee Info to List. You can go through the list again to add more trainees to the list. When you're done, simply click Submit. Please take down the assessment result upload reference number for future inquiry purposes. If you would like to complete the submission later and save your progress first, simply click Save Draft. An acknowledgement will show that the draft has been successfully saved. You can save up to three drafts. To resume editing, simply click Assessment Result. Save Draft Assessment Result and select the relevant record. If you wish to edit any trainee's details, click their tab and click View and Update. Do the necessary changes and click Update to List. You can save it as another draft or hit Submit if you would like to submit it. To check if the upload has been done correctly, you can click Assessment Result and Inquire Assessment Result. Fill in the Assessment Results Upload Number. If you have uploaded the results successfully, the Assessment Results records will be displayed. We hope that this video has been helpful in guiding you through the uploading process. If you have any questions or feedback, please contact us through our feedback portal https colon slash slash www.portal.wda.gov.sg slash feedback with the following attachments. The error screenshot the Excel assessment result template you are working with and the CSV assessment result file that was generated. After the trainee's assessment results have been uploaded successfully, their e-certs will be generated within two days. When that happens, an email notification will be sent to the training organization. If you require any other assistance, you can contact us through our feedback portal at https colon slash slash www.portal.wda.gov.sg slash feedback. To find out how to download the e-certs, please refer to the other tutorial video for ATOs.